Hello student, today we will study about the estimation of bacterial growth by spectrophotometric method. So let's first discuss about the growth. So growth may be defined as the orderly increase in all cellular constituent and result from the biosynthetic and energy generating processes. The growth may refer to the increase in mass of a single cell or to the increase in size of a population of cell. Unicellular bacteria divide typically by binary fission, in which a cell grows uh, into twice its size and then divides into two identical daughter cells. Each of these cells grow in the manner of the parent cell until it too divides. The sum of all the process occurring between cell division make up the cell cycle. We will consider as what happens when growth is measured after inoculation of a small number of a, a suitable microorganism into a sterile medium contained in a vessel of definite volume. A typical growth curve is observed here. This growth curve has four different phases. The number one is lag phase. In this period, in which no growth or multiplication occur and it represents a time when the inoculum cells are adapting themselves to active growth in the new environment. This phase is long if the inoculum cells are old, damaged or grown previously in different medium. Second phase is log phase or exponential phase. Here the cells are growing at a constant rate that is the generation time is constant. This is the only phase when the population is growing at a constant rate and it represents the maximum rate and minimum generation time for the, for the prevailing condition. The third phase is the stationary phase. This phase is brought about uh, through lack of food or more accurately through exhaustion of one particular nutrient or when accumulation of toxic product completely inhibit the growth. In either case, the biomass and cell number remain constant. The cell remain in a state of suspended animation. The biomass and cell number produced during this phase depends largely on the initial substrate concentration and on the organism growth yield. This is the mass of cell produced per unit of substrate converted and is often related to the efficiency of growth on a particular substrate. It is therefore of importance in industrial process where the objective is to produce biomass as cheap, cheaply as possible. Then fourth phase is death phase. In this phase, the cell begin to die and as a result, there is an increase in divergence between the total and the volume count. However, when death occur, autolysis takes place, that is, uh, cell begin to digest themselves. Such autolysis has interesting result. If a laboratory culture is allowed to enter into death phase, so that major population of the cell lies those remaining may be able to grow on the product of the slices.